The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has promised to tackle insecurity in the Northeast by fighting unemployment if elected into office. In an interaction with Northeast stakeholders of the party in Abuja, Peter Obi says he has developed special programs to ensure that development returns to the region. He says some of the programs include utilizing the vast lands in the Northeast through agricultural development, ensuring that out-of-school children return to schools, as well as subsidizing health care services. We want to remove Nigeria from where it is today, from consumption to production. And when you do that, you start pulling people out of poverty. Look at the vast land in the Northeast. All cultivated. And people are hungry. We must put people out of poverty. The more you put people out of poverty, the more you reduce criminality. It is done everywhere in the world. I want to educate those children. You saw me say yesterday, those 20 million out of school children which are domiciled in the north will become educated. Amen. Because it's very simple thing. They are intelligent people. They've learned Quran. So I will meet them where they are being taught Quran and teach them skill. When you have been pushed to the wall and you are tired, hungry and angry and you are not inclusive and you are neglected, nobody will tell you how to take over. It is your passion your desire and your vision and your mission that will push you into your destiny to take over. And for Northeast, because we are tired, we are looking, we as mothers, we are looking and are tired that our youths are future of tomorrow and we have not seen the future for our children. And for this reason, we decided that we will arise we're here today to discuss strategies on how to prevent vote buying or vote rigging on that day. We're here today to discuss grassroots mobilization to see how we can go back from, from, from tomorrow or next in Borno, Adamawa, Yobe, Taraba, Bauchi and Gombe to talk about how we can engage our people. Well, joining us now is Isaac Balami, convener of the Northeast Stakeholders in the Labour Party. Thank you so much, Isaac, for joining us on the news tonight. Thank you, Adesua. Good Thank you, you, Madam Angazi. So we hear Peter we talk about uh, security and education mm. and how they are intertwined, how one leads to the other. But which comes first? Is this a case of the chicken and the egg? Is it solving security first or solving education first? Because he talks about getting more people educated to stop security. Uh, is that the solution? Because some may argue, I mean, mm. the, security is already, the security situation is already there on ground. We've battled it for over 13 years, and the Northeast has been hardly, a hard hit, has been worse hit in these insecurity problems we have. So which comes first, really? Uh, thank you, Adesua. You see, the issue of education is continuous. I mean, it's continuous. Uh, he is going to, based on what he has promised, start something new and sustain it. The issue of security is immediate uh, because uh, today I'm from southern part of Borno State. For, the, for over 10 years or 13 years, like you did mention, mm -hmm. most of us can't even visit loved ones during Salah holidays or during Christmas holidays with our eyes open. And it's horrible. Mm -hmm. You see, today, uh, the issue of education, why is key and why His Excellency, hopefully our incoming president, keep hammering, mm -hmm. is that Today, if you go to Lagos and take uh, an explosive and call somebody on the street that please take this 1,000 Naira, go and bomb these people, he won't because of the level of exposure. Mm -hmm. The insecurity has to do with poverty. It has to do with education. If people are educated and empowered, they will not take peanut and kill people. And that is why His Excellency is so concerned about education. You know? And so, so for us, you know, that, that, that is key. That security is key. is key. Security is immediate. Okay. It's immediate. Right. And of course, very, very important. And he's been engaging with uh, North East leaders and making uh, promises just like we, you know, put out there. 
um, of course, how he will tackle insecurity, uh, unemployment, and all of that. But he has to become president first for him to be able to do that. Correct. What are his chances? What are the chances of the Northeast actually going to the polls and deciding it is Peter Obi or nobody else? Considering, unfortunately, the backdrop of ethnic sentiments, you know, and cultural sentiments and religious sentiments that drive, that seem to drive Nigerians, the larger majority of Nigerians at the polls. What message are you going to take back to the people in the Northeast about Peter Obi to convince them? You see, His Excellency Peter Obi mentioned something very, very important today. He talked about, he asked we from the Northeastern part of the country that we should show him where we buy bread cheaper than people that live in the South. There's no way. The same Naira, the same minimum wage, the same stress. You know, we all undergo the same hardship. I said, we have come of age. Gone are those days when you come and deceive us and tell us stories. And I can tell you that, you see, most people don't know that in the northeastern part of the country, there are basically ethnic uh, nationalities that are classified as minorities in different bits. For the first time, we've been forced to come together because we are the most bruised, oppressed, depressed, suppressed, intimidated, and we've said enough is enough. And you see, this time around, let me tell you this. Is this somebody from Chibok? And the issue of even what APC did, or in, that is the Muslim Muslim ticket, or the injustice, you know, from PDP, whereby you believe that somebody from APC or, you know, will, rule, will run the country for eight years, and from same tribe, another person will come for another eight years. That is injustice. We don't believe in that. We, the ethnic nationalities, believe that this is time for equity, time for justice, and we believe that the Igbos are also human beings. And when you talk about competence, you know, we see Peter Obi and Dati as the perfect match. These are people that have all it takes. They don't just have the energy and age on their side. They have the credibility. They have the passion and the drive. Mm -hmm. And their record speaks for itself. Okay. You can't compare them. And we are ready to vote Peter Obi and Dati in because of who they represent, because religion, Islam or Christianity has not, we, there's nobody we have voted for because we love him because he's a Muslim or he's a Christian that has, you know, relieved the pain. The pain has rather increased. So this time around, we're not doing religion, we're not doing ethnicity, okay. we're voting people that will save this country. But well, is that message getting to the grassroots? Excellent. And that is why we brought them as the convener and with my team, we sat down with the party, the chairman of the party was there, you saw the former SGF, Babachi David Law was there, you saw the middle belt national president was there. Yeah. But, but so I many. also wanted to stay yeah. with the chances, really, uh, considering mm. that the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party is from the Northeast, Adama State to be precise. The vice presidential mm -hmm. candidate of the governing APC, uh, former governor of Bruno State, uh, Shatima, is also, also from, from the Northeast, North Bruno State to be precise. To so be what frank are his with chances? You, to be very, very frank with you, these are all the same people. We're all tired. When uh, they've all ruled us, all and the, you say all same the people. Has Peter Obi not been part of those same people Peter that Obi, have ruled? You cannot compare Peter Obi. Put the track, put the records. You see, he who is faithful in little can't be faithful in much. We've seen how people privatize different parts of this country, different sectors, to their friends and families. We've seen how people shared land and properties belonging to their state when they were governors, to their friends and families. We've seen Peter Obi. We've seen the records are clear. He said he gave over 1,000 C of O to different people across Anambra State. And he asked that if anybody can prove that he gave this land to his family or himself or anybody close to his family, that he is going to stop running. I mean, he has dead people. He said, this is the amount of money I left. He moved education from average to number one in education. Right. We saw the award he got in health. I mean, what else? We saw his, today he's talking about production to consumption. We saw what he has done with innocent yeah, no motors. No consumption to production. So, so he's sorry, consumption to production, yeah. Yes. So and he has said that over and over, over and again. Over. And, and this is the amount of his point. words. We, 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 we believe he's faithful in the past and he right. will be faithful now. Labor Party in the North. Yeah. Is there any presence there? That's a question people are asking. I'm this is part of why we're meeting. This is part right. of why we're actually converging. We uh -huh. are the structure. I ran for House of Reps under APC in 2019. We know what to do. Babachu David Lawal, since President Buhari had been running for office for about three times before he won, he was in charge of his infrastructure. We have people that have come from PDP, APC, that are tired. And guess what? You believe with me that most people that are still in APC or PDP go and search very, very well. It is for their interest. 
most people that I know of, it is for their interest. And most of them are even talking to us behind closed doors because they know that this is the party that will rescue the country. The, what, when you talk about, you see, how do you feel when you know that this is the person, Ubi and Dati, that can rescue Nigeria, but because you feel that they don't have structure or they don't have the money that some people have stolen mm -hmm. to buy vote, uh, you wouldn't vote for them. Then you are part of the problem. So the issue is, you see, we, are, we have woken up from sleep, mm -hmm. we from slumber. We won't take 5,000 Naira or 10,000 Naira for four years. That is like 10,000, meaning that every year you are worth 2,500 Naira. Enough is enough. Mm -hmm. People are actually tired. I, well, uh, just in 20 seconds, right. are you concerned about security and the polls uh, in the Northeast region, for instance? Let me just tell you this. Mm -hmm. The reason why people will rig, you see, you can only rig in a particular polling unit or in a ward or in a local government. No, the question is not even about rigging. No, it's it's not no, no, no. The issue of security. security yes. Okay, no, no. And, yeah, you you know, see, so the issue of people have confidence. The to issue of security vote. concerns everybody. Right. It's not about Labour Party. It also concerns APC. It concerns PDP. It concerns ABGA. And I think the security agencies have been mandated. I mean, it is their responsibility. Mm. So for security, we will not allow that to deter or discourage right. us. Mm. We will all go out and vote on that day because that is the last chance to rescue this great nation. That's good to know. And here, Isaac Balami is the convener, Northeast Stakeholders Labour Party. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. Thank you. Thanks for having me.